is a pandemic of coronavirus, mm -hmm. the uh, the healthcare system or the healthcare aspects is more important than the art. But in the normal cases um, of the life, uh, the art is also important because it is uh, one of the sources of the uh, country economy. And that's what I have to explain in the next paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now let's let's focus on the first paragraph here because I have comments yes. here. Um, okay. And we will go gradually to the second paragraph. How do you mm -hmm. how do you normally write the introduction here? Uh, the introduction mm -hmm. for the question is: Some people think that the government is wasting money on the arts. So they are accusing the government by by saying that some people think some people think is usually not uh, factual. It's just a statement uh, that news and media use to trick people to think that it is reality, but it's not reality. It's just an opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you follow carefully the wording, wording, mm -hmm. uh, uh, wording um, of how media uses the uh, the news articles to deliver a message of warning or a message of hope or a message of uh, terror and fear. It's it's quite clear from the use of verbs out there because they are the moving parts of the sentence they are just uh, indicating uh, where uh, the status of the channel is in terms of their bias or their non-bias or their objectivity or their subjectivity but it's in and out of itself just a statement it doesn't matter whether you agree or disagree the thing that matters the most is um, clearly uh, what you are going to say that prove your point of view. Now, did you succeed in this kind of attempt? Well, it depends, and I will tell I you yes I or did. no. Okay, now, if you think you did, give mm -hmm. me three reasons mm -hmm. um, in the first paragraph that sets this mm -hmm. uh, thought correctly. Okay. Which are? I want you to tell me, well, you said you think you did succeed in delivering that in the introduction. I want you to tell me how. Mm -hmm. um, I think the first one, uh, just I said before, I discussed um, uh, or transferred the point of view of many people, not me alone. Uh, whether I agree or disagree with with the first uh, with the with the head concept, I discussed this subject from many sides, from the uh, the point of view of the people that agree with the um, with the spending money on the most important um, aspects other than art, and the point of view of the other people that uh, looking for the art as one of the most important thing in the life of citizens. And also, I think I succeed because I followed um, your um, your guidelines or um, um, your instructions in starting the uh, writing uh, by uh, by by following the uh, the pointing or be pointed to hit the point. Mm -hmm. Sorry. To hit the point. How and do how do how make introduction. What do you mean by hitting the point here? Yes. I mean um, to go to the uh, the most important um, uh, part of the of the subject that we are dis discussing. In. What is the most important part of and the subject that we are discussing? The spending of the money. Okay. Now we're spend we're talking about spending of the money. Now, did you talk about the spending of the money yes. in the beginning? Uh, it is um, uh, an introduction to um, to express about the um, the way or, or the methods of spending money, uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, 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 
be- uh, helpful. Sorry, mm-hmm. which is which which getting benefit for for spending on the art or not. It is an introduction. Before I have to to speak about the spending money, I have to uh, to express. Uh, the benefits of spending this money in in many aspects. And do you do that in the in the first paragraph? No, I think it is in the second and third. Okay. Now, um, yes. that's that's very valid point. Now, <clears throat> we usually do something called a sandwich criticism, um, but that's let's not talk uh, let's not talk about it now. Um, you say in the first. By the way, I am not saying your your uh, your essay is wrong, or your essay is perfect, mm-hmm. or your essay is neutral. Mm-hmm. I'm just raising questions mm-hmm. because these questions are uh, the very questions that the evaluator is going to assess you on when they are grading and marking mm-hmm. you uh, for writing of this essay. Uh, first thing that I want to mention, and it's mm-hmm. quite important, never ever generalize. Um, so never ever generalize. So you should never generalize unless you have an evidence, yes. unless you have an evidence to evidence that uh, generalization is highly unacceptable. It is just an indicator of the weakness of the essay. Okay. <clears throat> Once we start generalizing, okay. uh, we start spreading. Um, we start spreading uh, the uh, the weight of the attention to so many points, and we're gonna get uh, all of our points lost in the middle of that kind of catastrophe, um, okay. and that is really problematic. Uh, it is problematic for. Uh, few uh, for few reasons. First, sometimes it is really hard um, to to prove all the generalization. Mm. Now, uh, this is a general question. I want to ask you: Can you find any generalization here in the first paragraph? Do you do you know what generalization is? Yes, I know. What is it? Generalization, when you are talking um, on behalf of the all people, regardless their point of view on any subject. Okay, perfect. Now, here okay. in the question, they say some people think that, yes. the, that the government... Now, how many governments do we have here? Just one. Let's go to your paragraph. The introduction of your paragraph says, read it. Ah, yes. I, I, I wrote governments. Which is the plural of the government. Don't more you? Than one. Okay, so that's generalization. Now uh-huh. it is it is important to know the word important mm-hmm. and know are very kind of regular daily style kind of words. Mm-hmm. And since you have a big pool of words and vocabulary that you can choose from, I would suggest that you change the word important by replacing it with a more sophisticated academically oriented vocabulary everybody can say Mm -hmm. important but not everybody Mm -hmm. can say significant or the title talking about the government and I'm talking about governments but the um, the details are the same Uh, am I generalized in this case no you're not generalizing but you're copying and pasting and this is um, this is not a good sign of an academic writer. Academic writers does not take words by words, but they rephrase. So if the statement oh, okay. if the statement says some people think that the government is wasting money, and mm-hmm. I want to put it in a paragraph, I should use my own words. So mm-hmm. I would say plenty, plenty of people. Yes. In uh, plenty of citizens, okay, consider spending mm. money mm-hmm. on fine arts is just spending money on um, worthless projects. And I can replace the government word by authorities. 
you, you can say the authority or you can use the word government, but don't just copy everything from the statements. And this is a common error lots of test takers do. They think that by repeating the question that they were asked, they are gaining, they are gaining some quantity of words to put in the, in the text, and that is wrong because I can just see if you are using three or four words from the essay, uh, you, you're, you're just trying to fill. They are fillers. You, 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 you lack the, 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 the vocabulary flexibility. In the ilha tabweeb is lexical diversity. In the huwa tanawa al mufradati, which is very important. Hadi yantunak taqim min tisa ali. Yantunak taqim ala cohesion and coherence min tisa. Yantunak taqim ala grammatical accuracy. And range من تسعة وينطونك على task completion من تسعة المجموع المجموع الكل يقسم على أربعة وتطلع نتيجتك من تسعة يعني إحنا فنقول تسعة في أربعة يطلع المجموع ستة وثلاثين ستة وثلاثين تقسيم أربعة يطلع تسعة فأنت إذا ماخذ مثلا بالtask completion ماخذ خمسة وماخذ بالcohesion and coherence 4.5 وماخذ بالتاسك ماخذ بال بال lexical diversity 6 and you take um, let's say in uh, grammatical range and accuracy 6.5 okay the total is going to be 22 divided by 4 is 5.5 5.5 yes so that, that is the point. You gotta be very careful here. Now let's go back here because everything is linked. It's a network, it's a spider web. Um, I, I, by, by the way, I wrote, I, I, I wrote down this uh, notice. Uh, and I'm, I'm recording that uh, also just to have a look at it uh, because I want you to understand the philosophy of writing, uh, Osama. It's, mm -hmm. uh, maybe. Yes. Maybe I'm focusing only on paragraph one because this is. The only thing we need. I don't want to go through like hundreds of uh, essay examples because the idea is to create the machine that creates the product. We are not creating product. Yes. We're, we're creating the machine in your mind that creates yes. the product. Yes. So it's like designing a, designing a gun that you can use in the field. We are not designing the bullets. We're just designing the gun because this is where you can use it everywhere. Yes. Um, Going back to my point here, you say it is important. Yes. How did you defend that this is important in the first paragraph? How did you set the mood? Um, uh, we are talking about art, right? When you say we, you're generalizing, Mr. Osama. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, writing is very tricky. Writing is very tricky and mm -hmm. It's under, it's under the dominance of our first language, which is Arabic, but it, it's, it's normal. Uh, I am not, I'm not saying you, you have weaknesses, no, but I'm just opening new venues uh, for you to explore that whatever you say, yes, yes. you should evidence. Whatever claim you have... I prefer to stop me and correct every single word, every single letter, because this is uh, all will be uh, will will uh, will be with hundred benefit for me. This um, is the reason that I'm attending this lessons with you, Mr. Walid. Mr. Osama, believe me, whatever I'm telling you right now, I was told by my American teachers. Whatever, yes. whatever. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, خلي أنطيك مثال طبعا مثال واضح جدا على التعميم وال طبعا هذا احنا هذا الخبر هسه من قناة الشرقية مثلا أوكي هذا مثال ما لنا علاقة بتوجه الشرقية أو أي شيء إلى علاقة بهذا أنا اختارته يعني as an example here هذا الخبر ما تتصواريخ اللي صارت البارحة أوكي 
احنا فقط للتحليل اللغوي لا اكثر آه هذا الخبر موجود بالعربي آه اقرا آه خلينا نفتح البدايه مالته القوات المش... العمليات المشتركه قوى خارجه على القانون قصفت الخضراء لخلف الاوراق اوكي ناو هو از سيينج ذس Uh, huh? No, the 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 Sharia agency is saying that okay, okay. Uh, that the the central the operation, operation uh, the operation yes. center says uh, mm. foreign foreign powers foreign forces. or foreign forces. Okay. Now, mm. how do they know that these are foreign forces? <laughs> Did they catch them? Uh, no, I so, think they didn't know, but they are. Assuming. They are, they are trying to sh shift. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the word foreign, the word foreign forces, in and out of itself is groundless. It's baseless. Like you have zero evidence that this is a foreign force. You have zero evidence that this is an interior force because you haven't arrested them. You have no idea where they are from. They know, but they don't want to say because they are afraid, and the government is afraid of them. Um, now they say, uh, يعني, the viol violating law, and then they say, attacked green zone to, 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 trouble, to trouble the issues, as an example here. Now, how do they know that these forces have these intentions? What's their evidence? There is zero evidence. Mm -hmm. Now, Al Sharqiya is delivering this message from the coalition forces, and they are saying that these foreign mm -hmm. affairs, which ha they have no evidence of, they are attacking Green Zone to trouble the so societal, societal issues. And none of this. For complicating, for complicating the situation. They are just saying that, but they have no evidence. And they say foreign forces, and they have no evidence. And they say that خارج عن القانون, and they have no evidence. Like, how do they know that they are, um, they are behaving outside this the circle of law? Maybe they are they they are government forces. How do we know? Maybe they are not government forces. Yes, yes. they are just accusing with no. Evidence. Let's close it and go back to your paragraph. Maybe they are not foreign forces. Uh, that's the point. Maybe everything. Maybe, well, maybe and maybe and maybe. It's a series of maybes, but we, we never know. So the point, going back to your paragraph here, point number one, uh, when you say, um, first of all, we can say it is important to know uh, because that is going to grab the attention, like when we are writing um, when we are writing the introduction, uh, Osama, we need to grab people's attention. Uh, that's why in Arabic they used they used to say "ayuh uh, al This is a kind of vocative. We say in English, "ayuh to grab people's attention. In writing, in writing, this is something we call thesis. Thesis statement. What does thesis statement mean? It means the strong opinion that you have that you will develop some evidence to support. Evidence number one, evidence number two, evidence number three, with example one, example two, and example three. For example, smoking, ca smoking causes cancer. Oh my God, that's thesis, that's a statement. Hada asdar bayan. El bayan? Smoking causes cancer. Okay, now, this is just a statement, it is a thesis. Now, prove it. How do you prove it? You bring three or four research papers from different countries. Okay, you put them in three separate paragraphs. And you try to add a counter opinion that says, well, maybe if you feel you're under pressure, it's okay. In some studies, they say smoking one or two cigarettes per week is relatively reducing the tension and hypertension 
for people mm. who are suffering from work pressure. Okay, how they should know this is for academic balance because we are not extremists. We 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 are good listeners. Um, uh, we are listening to a variety of opinions and grab uh, whatever evidence they have to support that kind of statement. So if you prefer to, to start the first paragraph by, by saying we can say it is important to know. I am not going to say that uh, because I want to see how your wording grows and I want to see what you are going to write. I will give you so many examples here. But the point, uh, the point that I want to make is just to raise your uh, attention, to grab your attention, that whatever we say, it should not go overlooked. Because whatever we say, we are... Mm -hmm. Really, I, I, would, I would use uh, we can say, but I, I was afraid that the reader or the examiner will ask me, we can say, who are the we? Well, in English, there is a tradition that you should never start a sentence by saying we unless you tell who you are. Are you the Associated Press? Are you uh, the first person perspective or point of view? We have the first person point of view, the second person point of view, and the third person point of view. When we are talking... So typical, typically. Typically. How, I, typically. how can I start the first paragraph? I am not going to say that. I'm going to show you examples and you can rephrase it. Because if I, I, I don't want to spoon feed you, I can give you examples, but I'm not going, you're not a child. I want you to, yes. to, to, uh, to, to train your own style because you are imitating and creating your own style. I'm just... I have my, I have my own spoon. Just give me the dish. Okay, I'm, I'm giving it to you here. I'm giving it to you here. Now, you should change the word important. And I'm writing a comment here. Because important is like anybody can say important. My children can say important. So when Osama comes and writes a paper, this word is clichéic. 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 Okay? No, everybody, everybody knows the word no. So we, we should say... It is important to consider, it's important, um, it's important to distinguish, it's important to recognize, it's important to identify, it's important to realize Osama. So these are highly academic words. When we say no, the word no in and of itself is, is very informal to my knowledge, okay? Now... You're saying governments in plural. Uh, by the way, is my voice high or low? Because sometimes... It's very good. Okay. It's normal. Now, when you're saying have to spend, the word spending is also problematic because it's not quite an academic word. When you say their money, are you referring to the governments? You, sorry, sorry, you... Osama, when you say their money, yes, do you mean the government money or the government's money? The government's money. Why do no, you say have to spend? Money. The governments, the governments. It means that this money has belonged to the government. But I mean belongs, the money that belongs, the belongs to government. Mm -hmm. Belongs to the government, but I, I mean the money that the government has to operate it for the benefit of the citizens. So here you're saying I mean, and what you mean is some kind of intention you did not write here. Because sometimes we get lost among words, we get our intentions lost. Sometimes when we say I mean, it just means that I failed to expressively say that in words. Now I am trying to explain it more. That's why in Arabic we say shtuqsad. Because the intention is sometimes miscommunicated. The intention is sometimes mistranslated. The intention is sometimes misinterpreted. And that causes some cultural 
misunderstanding and miscommunication. So you need to clearly say that. Do you remember when I told you that uh, readers are blind and deaf? Yes. You you need to clearly state that, um, Osama, because readers don't know until you tell them. They are like customers. They don't know what to buy until you tell them what to buy. Now, here, there is another generalization we say in many aspects. And it's really important to state at least two or three aspects, and I don't see where you stated them. Okay, there is, there is also uh, the point for supporting and developing. What do you think is the problem here for supporting and developing? I cannot find a problem. I want to hear from you. Okay, when we we do use similar words for sake of redundancy and repetition to emphasize, but sometimes that backfires. Mm -hmm. So, so sup supporting is this similar to developing. If you say, um, if you say that supporting, you need to dedicate a paragraph. Now, Osama, every word you say in the first paragraph you have to explain it in other paragraphs. When you say supporting, you need to write a paragraph. You need to dedicate at least three lines to two lines to explain the shape of support. When you say developing, this is an active word. It's, uh, um, it's an active verb, so developing. So it just shows it's an indicator that the process is ongoing. So you need to de de develop a statement where you explain how the government is supporting and how the government is developing. These are two different things. When I support you is different from when I develop you. Now, yes. you're not stopping here because you're saying, for example, the healthcare system, teaching system, military, industry, and agricultural aspects. And for agricultural aspects, you're not just specifically referring to one field of agricultural aspect, but aspects. Now, uh, um, I meant I meant by aspects the three words before it, which is the military aspects, industry aspects, and agriculture aspects. Mm. Okay. Because I, I I talked about healthcare system. This is separated, but teaching system also. Uh, but military, industry, agriculture aspects. Mm -hmm. These are the three aspects I talked about. Now, when you say I mean, you need to clearly. Uh, explain that here. You need to very clearly explain that here. I make the aspect aspects in the end because mm -hmm. I didn't want to m make it a repeated word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now let's move. But they also support other aspects. Now you you keeping the word aspect. Now in this paragraph, I want yes. you to in this paragraph particularly. I want you to count I want you to count how many times you use the word aspect. <laughs> yes. Uh, one, two, three. Three words. So three times I repeated aspects in just the three lines or sentences. Well, uh, we have another potential problem here. Now, the first paragraph is only one sentence, and this sentence has 32 words. Mm -hmm. Now, when we think of a sentence in English, the usual sentence in English has one subject. Now, how many subjects do we have here? This is a, this is a grammar question, but I want you to understand that shortening the sentences is going to make them more comprehensible and readable. When you make longer sentences, you're just um, uh, confusing the readers because they're going to get lost in how many subjects there are in the sentence. So when you say it is, so it is a subject here. Mm -hmm. It is important to know that government, so we have government as a, another subject here, and the sentence is not, got, so we have two different locations for subject in a sense, but they are both subjects in one sense, which is a, a tricky. You're gonna be very artistic writer in order to uh, employ that correct 
uh, correctly. Uh, usually, when we say, for example, um, we start, we start, we start, we start a new sentence by, for example. So there is no, there is no comma before, for example. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, getting back to the point here, uh, you say, but they also, they also support. When you say um, when you say the word they, هنا أخلي أشرح لك إياها بالعربي. هذه they. Uh, mm. uh, so, so my children. Oh, but can you just isolate yourself because it's just uh, distracting me. <laughs> no, no, no one here, just me. Okay, maybe the mic. You're in the, in, the, in the next room. Okay, now. Uh, the word they هنا بيها احنا نسميه الدالة السابقة والدالة اللاحقة كل ما كانت كل ما كان الفاعل اللي يدل عليه they قريب من ناحية البعد الجغرافي بالجملة عن السابقة واللاحقة كل ما كانت الجملة مرنة أكثر ومس يعني comprehensible يعني مفهومة أكثر هنا احنا بادين بجملة جديدة كاتب بيها but عادة but ما نبدي بيها جملة يعني أنا يعني إحنا بالإنجليزي ما نقول يعني رأساً but good morning or yes. but but my name is Walid and I I work here usually this word is for objection like or or to reflect data or piece of information uh, that is opposite to what what is mentioned before this word. Uh, هنا كلمة they هنا كلمة they الدالة هي هل بها دالة سابقة لو دالة لاحقة خلي اشرح لك اياها خلي اشرح لك اياها احنا هنا مثلا they, يعني انت you're sitting at home and you hear your children say they are here they are here and you say who and they say the guests the, they in ذكرت قبل guest فذي صارت الدلالة مالتها لاحقة على جست جست ذكرت بالنص اللاحق مو بالنص السابق ما قدرت تفهم منو ذي لحد ما سألت أطفالك منو ذي من نجي نتحدث على ذي هنا إحنا عدنا government وعدنا their money وعدنا it وعدنا healthcare system وعدنا teaching system وعدنا military Agricultural, هاي كلها فواعل. They على أي واحد منهم تقصد. I use it to refer to the government. Well, I don't know. I'm a reader. I don't know. You need to tell me. I'm just to use it uh, because I, as I said before, I didn't want to uh, repeat the words more times. Uh, governments, governments, governments. I'm afraid to use the, um, uh, the, uh, the other words. Well, uh, Isama, if you're not repeating the words, I will understand that you have limited list of vocabulary. And I will go to the category of lexical diversity, تنوع المفرداتي. أني هسا من شفت كلمة sub-aspects ثلاث مرات بالجملة الأولى. من المستحيل أنطق فوق الستة من المستحيل لأن أنا رح أعرف أنه هذا يسمونه verbosity سامع بيها هذا الكلم كلمة academic verbosity أو verbose uh, هذه uh, I want you to google it لأن هاي كلمة تفيدك جدا Did you find it? It is V E verbose. I wrote it in the chat. Do you see the chat? Yes. Okay. Verbosity. شنو معناهم؟
Do you hear me?